Okay, so <clears throat> uh, grief and, le and letting go. Uh, grief will feel the feelings. Like when a, like if you've lost a parent or lost a, lost a loved one, then one of, the most, one of the most important things to do is when the feelings arise, they will often come in big waves, is to like 100% be with the experience of it and don't label or make a story about it. And almost, it's almost like inviting it in. It's almost like, because the, the, natural, the natural orientation of the consciousness is not to want to experience it. To want to push it down, or to put the TV on, or the internet on, or something, get away from it. But actually, the, the letting go, feel the feelings, is like, as soon as the grief arises, just be welcome, almost like welcoming it in, and being with it, and bearing it. 100% until it starts to pass off. So just uh, you just do that. How you do that is to um, is to not label. Don't, if your story, if your head starts to go into images and stories about the dead person, just detach from that and just be with the the, the feeling arising. As soon as an, and if another thought starts to arise about the dead, just detach and just be with the feeling. So it'll come up as a big wave keep detaching from any thoughts. So it's almost like, this is not 100% true, it's almost like if, if, you're, if there was a tension, it's like, it's like being 100% with it. But then sometimes the attention goes off into a thought and you're not with the feeling. So immediately detach from the label of the thought and just be. And then again it will try and go off into an image, maybe of the dead person, but then detach and be. And as you're doing it, you're burning off. It's, there's a limited amount of this emotion that's going to arise. So just by being with it, it'll, it'll go off in a wave and then it'll pass and it'll come up. And each time you're with it, the waves will get smaller and smaller. And then they'll get further and further apart. And then you've dissolved it all. So if you don't do this, and if you say, like, eat a cake or try and push it down, think too much, then you eventually you'll get over it, but it'll still be stuck in you, this energy. So the next time anything similar happens, it's just going to come up. So let, we're going to practice now for five minutes, just being with whatever is here and trying not to label or make a story or, or attach anything. And we'll just do that together as a group for five minutes. <coughs>